How's it going, everybody? My name is Salty, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at my max damage Owen Gun class setup here in Vanguard. First and foremost, I need to hear what your favorite SMG here is in Vanguard. For me personally, I love the Type 100, but I know a lot of people really like the MP40. I've heard some good things about people with the PPSH. But again, let me know down in that comment section. Make sure you guys also hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my daily Call of Duty videos and like this video so it can reach other people looking for the same kind of content. Let's jump right into it. All right, in the muzzle, we have the Strafe Compensator. You're going to need some recoil control here with this build. For the barrel, we need the Hawk and Sock 305 millimeter precision, highly accurate and controllable, extra headshot damage and aim down sight speed. There is no barrel that gives you extra damage overall. We do have this one that gives you extra fire rate, but it just didn't seem to fit the build altogether. The max damage, it was this gun was extremely good at medium range. It basically killed faster than every weapon in the game. This one at here is less fall of damage at range. You get bullet velocity, increased limb damage, but recoil control gets a little chalk there and you also get no vital damage bonus. So that's kind of a no-go for me. For the optic, I have the slate reflector just because it's my optic of choice here. You guys can use whatever you're comfortable with. For the stock, I have the Gawain H4 folding aiming stability, recoil control, accuracy, and flinch resistance. Definitely needed here when you see what magazine we're going with. The underbarrel, I go with the Carver foregrip again for overall recoil control of the weapon. Now for the magazine, we have the 8mm Curse 60 round drum, plus 2 to your bullet velocity, bullet velocity and range, plus 1 to your damage and bullet penetration, and of course the ammo capacity altogether, but as you can see, negative 5 for your recoil control and accuracy. The movement speed and the aim down sight speed didn't seem all too much of a problem in my opinion, but with the recoil control attachments, it was also very easy to use. For the ammo type, I have lengthened to up the bullet velocity. For the rear grip, we have stipple grip for recoil recovery and initial accuracy and recoil control. For the proficiency, I'm going with brace here for overall initial accuracy and recoil control. And for the kit, I have fully loaded like always. I'm going to recommend you guys definitely give this class setup a try and let me know what you think of it down in the comments section after you do. I'm going to let this gameplay roll out for you guys where we got a V2 rocket. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, so I've made a low level Owen gun, a max level Owen gun, a max fire rate Owen gun, but we're going to go for max damage. It doesn't really play like an SMG. To be honest, it, it's more like an AR. Taking Baker. Sweet we hold Baker. More like an AR. I saw you. It's not the one I saw. Oh, they're behind me. Hello. Baker is overrun. All right, we're going to dip from here. I'm stayed there a little too long. Securing able. Oh, packet burst. Packet burst literally just caused me to stand still. They were supposed to have fixed that. My first game on felt great as far as packet burst goes and then I knew that kid was going to be annoying from the second I ran into him the first time. I should have stayed over there. And, um, Alright, now we're cooking. They're spawning back here though behind me and jacked my kill I think they're spawning in here they're not they're all the way across the map now actually one thing about the Owen gun is definitely getting used to The whole magazine on the side of the gun thing, it is a little rough, I'll be 100% there. And it feels like you're aiming off a bit. Somebody's shooting at somebody over there. 
but in reality you're not aiming off it's just how the the magazine sits this is way too quiet it, whoa, whoa, whoa. no way man Th this game is so weird what am i playing why is it so quiet? Like, it doesn't even feel like there's people on the map. They're spawning behind me as well. I need, yep, turn around. He's above me. Yep, here I am. I want to push this. Alright, we're cooking now. They have mortars where I want to go, though. I want to play over to A and then to B. They have mortars. That kid's on the top. We're not going to mess with that. It's a brutal. Think he's back here. Somebody just spawned here. I need a UAV team. Come through. Come through the UAV team. I saw one over there. I don't know where to look. We're going over here. I think I guessed wrong. They're spawning behind me now. They're still spawning behind me now. Right here. I need a UAV, dude. I don't like this. No, I don't. I know where they're spawning, of course, but... I don't know how much that helps me in the long run of things. But I don't know where they're coming from. There we go. See, that one kill was the hardest kill of them all. We're going to attack from this one. Losing objective Charlie. Glide bomber assist. Come in. Going to be honest, they got me pinched here with the Molotovs. There we go.
It's alright. We can try to get some more streaks here. Game's almost over anyways. My team's been really dominating them. Nice. I don't know if I'll be able to get more streaks, but it was still a pretty good one. That was a long, a longer streak. I don't know where they're at, though. Camping is the answer. We're just going to call this in. I'm tired of wasting time running around. While they camp. There we go. GG's, man. That's going to end us. I believe that was 8v8. So, going to put us over 80 kills. GG's. I just wanted to let you guys know that I am now partnered with Facebook Gaming. I will be posting exclusive Call of Duty content over there five days a week. So, if you're looking for a few more class setups, a few more gameplays, anything, tips or tricks, make sure you guys head over there and drop me a follow. It'd be much appreciated. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you could make sure you hit that like button for me, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to the channel, make sure you also smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.